Hey there and welcome back to my Chanel. My name is Georgina, I'm the Honest Vocal Coach. I teach singing all day every day when I'm not making videos. And I am back to teaching now so I can actually say that. I wouldn't say I'm teaching every single day, but I'm definitely back at it. So today is Girl Band Thursday. If you're new to my channel, every Thursday we look at a girl band and we look at them kind of in order of original, like original, their first songs and then work through their careers. I also look at solo performances and we decide the best vocalist. We are currently looking at All Saints, but someone sent me this one, one of my honest children, which I'm very grateful for, and I thought I've got to see it. I have to see this one. So this is Sexy No 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 by the great girls aloud my favorite girl band of all time of all time uh, and it's the 10 hang on 10 the hits tour 2013 i have been advised this is a great one to react to because of their awesome live vocals so let's dive actually before we do dive in i used to run a girls aloud tribute band called girls are loud it was the best thing ever i loved it unfortunately it ended everything ends this was our opening song and we put an extra long beginning on it really really worked with the lighting effect and stuff. Anyway, let's dive in. Yes, I've been standing by my heart on my body, meaning pin that my blows. No, no. Cause I've been sitting back, no chance of hoping, hoping that nothing ever blows. No, 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 no. Boy, did you ever think that loving would be nothing more than one? I love the vocals that are over the top here. Obviously, the main vocal is underneath here so there is uh, some padding helping her out but her voice over the top sounds awesome i can tell that they've got some kind of bar and a waist sort of harness holding them on to the sign i think because uh, i haven't seen this dvd i saw them live uh, and it's ages ago so i thought it'd be great to sort of do a bit of revisit you know it's really good cheryl yes we love you yeah <laughs> Sounds wicked to me. I wouldn't say it's entirely in sync, but when you're doing massive events like this, it's very tricky to be absolutely identical to your bandmates because of the sound, the way it echoes round, the fact you've got inner ears in as well. To try and stay absolutely in the timing of the song is always going to be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> Oh my God, Cheryl is so sassy. I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what a riff. Yeah, yeah. I like the attitude that Nadine has in her voice. It's got like an R&B twang to it and her agility was just... I reckon if you want to, to know a bit more, I've already done a video on this. Who's the best singer in Girls Aloud? Uh, and, you know, from the best to the worst, if you can call it that. But I reckon at the beginning of Girls Aloud, Nadine was the strongest, but at the end of Girls Aloud, definitely Nicola. She was the best singer out of all of them. But take a look at the other videos if you want a bit more info. And I can't deny no way my d -d dirty mind is so you love her. Come and get me, get me. But for a while, Oh, I love that sexy ah, little bit of distortion there. Not loads, but just a bit. Ah. 
that's actually created with vocal fry but you lift the placement a little bit so it's there your normal vocal fry uh, down here uh, you're lifting it slightly to give you that effect sexy sexy Those harmonies are wicked. This is a really good vocal. You see what I mean about Nicola? Oh my goodness, what a voice. And I think Nicola really proved herself when she did The Masked Singer. She was outstanding in that, just stunning. With Sarah there, I thought that the breath control was all in the beginning of the, the sort of phrase. So by the end of it, it lost a little bit of breath apart. Oh my goodness, Nadine, that is awesome! Oh, again with a bit of that distortion. Just, this is one of the best vocals I have heard from these girls. I have got the shivers, the hairs are on end, the choreography simplistic, but that's cool. They're on like poles on the top of a big sign. Where are you going to go exactly? So they've really increased the facial aspects and the aggression into the singing because they literally can't move at this point. Slightly out of time, but as I said, this this is one of the issues that you have in a huge arena. I love that little flip. Get me, get me. Huh? as it kind of flips up there. Brilliant. What an opening song. That was awesome. I love Girls Aloud. I love Girls Aloud. This is why I love Girls Aloud. You guys have been asking me, do I think that there's going to be some kind of reunion concert? I think potentially there could be, but it's not time yet. Imagine being a five and missing a person. It must be so absolutely heartbreaking. It must be awful. So I think it's going to be something that, you know, it's got to really mean a lot for them to be able to come back together and do some kind of reunion tribute to Sarah. Um, it would be wonderful, but I kind of... I understand how hard it could be. So that was an awesome performance. I would say Nadine, Nicola and Cheryl had the best vocals. Uh, Kim didn't, she didn't really have an awful lot in this one, did she? Sarah, her awesome rocky self, but that was awesome. I'm going to have to try and get a copy of this DVD. I'm sure lots of the songs are on YouTube, but yeah, I think I need it. I do, I do. So thank you so much for requesting this one. I loved it, brought me back to my favourite girl band. Yes! Uh, and I'll see you in the next Girl Band Thursday. Bye loves, bye.